Agent Zero versus Manus versus Genspark versus Perplexity Labs. Which one wins? Today, we're going to be testing all of the best AI super agents out there, comparing them side by side and running them through a gauntlet. Bear in mind, for example, Agent Zero is a free AI super agent that you can set up, run locally. It can even go off browser web. You can see an example here where I actually went onto Bagel and generated an image of a cat. So this AI can talk to other AIs. And basically you've got a swarm of AI agents that can just go on the internet and do all sorts of crazy stuff for you autonomously. It's absolutely wild. So let's compare this side by side versus Manus and other AI super agents and see which one performs the best. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to use exactly the same prompt, which is go to bagel-ai.org, which is an open source and free image generator with AI and generate an image of a cat, right? And basically what we're trying to figure out here is can our super agents talk to other super agents and generate stuff? So we're going to do that inside Manus. We'll do that inside Genspark as well. Perplexity Labs. And we've already tried this inside Agent Zero, right? So we said generate, go to Bagel AI, generate an image of a cat. It uses browser agent tool to go off and do this. Bear in mind, it's free to run locally. And also you can get a free API with this, right? So you can, for example, use this with Gemini and then plug that in or open router as well has a bunch of free models that you can use and we're going to see what happens next so if we have a look inside manus it's landed on bagel it's done the same on genspark but it's asked us if we want to proceed i'm going to say yes perplexity labs says it's going to take six minutes to generate that output agent zero already completed the task I'm also going to give these AI agents just a bit of a kickstart. So I'm going to go into Manus and what it's actually done is it's refused to use Bagel and instead it's generated an image of a cat, but directly inside the chat, which is not what we wanted to do, it to do, right? We wanted to test if it can go off and use agents. So it's failed the task, but it has generated a nice image. If we have a look at Genspark, Genspark did exactly the same thing. So it generated an image inside the chat instead of listening to us and actually going to Bagel. If we go inside Perplexity Labs, it's looking at Bagel AI, but it's going to take seven minutes to generate that output. All right. So I'm actually just going to stop that task because it just takes too long. So I would genuinely say that from all the outputs here, Agent Zero was the one that really listened to our commands and figured out exactly what to do. Whereas, for example, Manus and Genspark both created nice images, but the problem was it's not using the instructions we said specifically. And then Perplexity Labs just to go onto a website and generate an image was quoted in six or 10 minutes. It's way too long, right? So far, I would say that Agent Zero has already won that challenge. Let's come up with the next one now. So what we're gonna say from here, and also just have a look here. So it's also downloaded the image. So it said you can view or download the image using this link, just copy and paste it to your browser. So it's even given us the URL to preview the image directly from the web page it used. Pretty crazy. Next up, what I'm going to do is I've already tested this on Manus and Perplexity just to save time, as well as Genspark, and that is to build a website, right? And basically, what we did, for example, with this website and also Perplexity and also Genspark, so you can see the output from Manus right here, the output from Perplexity, and then also the output from Genspark. I'm going to compare that versus Agent Zero to create a landing page about me, right? And so what we're going to say here is research Julian Goldie, create a website based on his AI profit boardroom, make it a complete, beautiful, high converting landing page in HTML. Make it look as good as possible. Scrape some images of him and insert those into the landing page along with some of his YouTube videos. Basically what we want to do with Agent Zero right here is basically create like a full landing page, but get the AI to research me, figure out who I am, what I sell, all my videos, add some images, etc and then insert those into the landing page and just see how good it is compared to the outputs from Genspark, Perplexity, and also Manus. Now, if I had to compare these side by side, 
I'm actually going to say that GenSpark created the best website, like you can see right here. Manus was pretty nice as well, but it just feels a little bit generic with generic images. Perplexity, I don't like the design on this, to be honest, but the rest of it looks okay. Like, that's pretty nice. So let's see what Agent Zero can do. So it's now doing the research. You can see, for example, it's searched through some of my recent videos. It's grabbing some of the YouTube thumbnails as well. And it's using different tools to do this, right? So for example, the search engine tool, it will use the code execution tool, etc. So now it's actually created the downloadable HTML. As we can see, we can click on that and it will actually auto download for us. And then if we click on this, it will open up the HTML page, right? So you can see, for example, if we click on this, today up it's actually embedded the YouTube video as we asked it to. The rest of the YouTube embeds didn't work so well. And then if we look at the page, it's okay, right? It's okay, but it's not great. For example, if we look at the design here, it's pretty average. The testimonials are totally hallucinated. It does link to our website, but it's nowhere near the same level as something like GenSpark or Manus or even Publicity's page, I think is better. So I think for website design research tasks, this is not quite as good, right? So it was very autonomous in terms of using other pages, going off on the web, searching stuff, but it failed on design projects. Like for example, something more complex, like building out a full website. And the reasons for that, number one, the design was not that great. And number two, the actual content on the page was very average. So next up, what we're going to say on each of these is create a drawing app, right? So we just want to test it for app creation. So I'm going to say create a fun dopamine inducing drawing app. There's like a whiteboard where I can draw, make it fun, add confetti animations, add lots of bright colors. So we're going to do that inside agent zero. Then we'll plug this into GenSpark on a new task. Perplexity Labs, we can test it out on, and also Manus. So if we have a look side by side here, in terms of speed, which is something that's very important when you're using these AI agents, you've got Agent Zero that's already built out. GenSpark has already created the tool as well. It looks really cool. Manus it seems to be taking quite a while. It's now checking out the CSS. And then Perplexity Labs has five minutes left, right? You can see it's not even halfway through there. It's got a full progress bar there, right? So Perplexity Labs is the slowest by far. Let's test this out now. So we're going to go on rainbow mode, which is pretty cool. We'll add some confetti in there. Let's go full speed on this. And we can also open this up on a subdomain. So this is the example created by GenSpark. Let's open this up. The confetti mode is incredible. We've got rainbow mode too. That's pretty impressive, to be fair. That's quite a fun app. Perplexity kind of failing on us. Let's have a look at Manus. So Manus is still building this out. It's taking quite a while. And then Agent Zero has already come back to us. Let's see what we've got from Agent Zero. And then we've got the whiteboard right here. This is really cool, actually. Look at these effects that it's created. It's madness. So let's test this out. That is the most fun to play with, to be fair. Although the UI of GenSpark was probably better. If you check out the UI of GenSpark, it's pretty fun. But yeah, I'm going to say the Agent Zero won that one. Just created the most fun app to create. Perplexity failed on us. It's just taking absolutely ages. I'm going to leave it to just run in the background there. If we take a look at Manus, Manus is still figuring stuff out. So that's failed on us. Perplexity and Manus might come back to us with decent stuff, but it's just like, it's taking so long. Let's test this out, see what we got here. So this is the app from Manus. It'll be available to test out in a second, but right now we can't seem to use it. And it, Manus is just testing out first. But yeah, I would say Agent Zero one, GenSpark came in second, Manus came in third, and then Plexi Labs was not really in the race because it was just so slow. So let's test something else out now. What I'm going to say is develop a 90 day content marketing strategy for Julian Gold SEO. You can research him. First, targeting people who want to scale and make money with AI. We'll check that inside GenSpark as well. And we'll see which one performs the best. 
So GenSpark is now searching for information, using the search tool, etc. Manus, it tends to use, tends to just take a lot longer, right? So for example here, what it would do is it will use its browser agent and it has to start a remote computer to check out my website because it's trying to view it visually, right? Whereas for example, so you see how it says initializing the, the computer and then it's actually using browser agent to like visually look at the website, which I don't think is efficient when you're trying to create a content research strategy, right? It's better to just dive straight in. Like you can see GenSpark is doing and Agent Zero has already done. Now I'm going to say to Agent Zero, okay, turn this into beautiful landing page. And cause it's so fast, we can get that done quickly whilst Manus is still trying to do research about me. Now, if we have a look at GenSpark, that's coding out a landing page as well. I'm not using perplexity on this task just because it's going to take too long. If it's 10 minutes, every single task, then, you know, it could take three hours to do the same stuff that we do with agent zero. Now, if you're wondering, okay, what API am I using with agent zero? I'm using chat GPT and open AIs, but you can use, for example, open router or Gemini or whatever you want. So we've got the landing page ready to go. Let's have a look at this. It's looking pretty nice. It's like scale and profit of AI. Julian Gold is 90 day strategy. Here's what we're going to do. The 90 day content roadmap. And then it's actually broken down inside a report, the social media post, the email I'm going to post, the blog and the YouTube video, right? And if we have a look at this link building with AI, that is something I would create content around monetizing AI, passive income ideas, scaling with systems, etc. This is all stuff that I would actually create content around. It's talked about how we'll succeed, plus the most important metrics. That's pretty cool. If we have a look at GenSpark now, let's see what we got from GenSpark. So it's just creating that content. We'll see what that comes back with. And Manus is creating the research.md file. Now, it seems like Manus is still stuck on the research stage, to be fair. If we have a look here, we'll see what we get back in a second. Now, because GenSpark and the other tools just take so long, you could have easily have gone back and forth inside agent zero to like tweaking the commands and the prompts and everything else you get back. But let's have a look at gen sparks. Now it's come back to us 90 day content marketing strategy Here's what we're going to do. Executive summary. So the strategic opportunity plus a current position analysis. I would genuinely say this is a lot nicer than the report from agent zero. It just looks a lot more interesting. It's got key target metrics, KPIs, really nicely designed, very clean talks about the primary channels and the multi-channel distribution strategy that agency I didn't have. And so if I was to grade these, I would still say GenSpark is creating the best stuff here. Manus is just nowhere near. It's not even created any of the code for the HTML or anything like that. Agency I came back to us pretty much instantly, but just didn't go as in depth as GenSpark. And so I think if you need something more complex, like if you need a super agent that can do really complex tasks that require a lot of deep thinking and take all that knowledge and put it into a really nice package, then GenSpark is the best, right? It's, a, it's still the best tool. It, it creates the nicest and the cleanest reports. It creates awesome websites. It creates great pages. For example, if we have a look at the arprofitboardroom.com, this page was designed by GenSpark and it converts really well, as you can see. And that was pretty easy to build with GenSpark. Made it in one morning, doing a live stream one day, right? If we have a look at Agent Zero, it's good, but I can see that it struggles to like really take complex stuff, right? So for example, if you need to build a full website, the design is not going to be that nice inside Agent Zero, unless you have a really complex prompt, right? The same with the content strategy. It just wasn't quite as nice using the same prompt, whereas GenSpark seems to be geared towards connecting the API to like different tools and then runs it through a few prompts that actually make the report super nice. Manus is too slow for me. Like I just couldn't work with it. I just don't think it's that great. And then the same with complexity, like it creates really nice outputs, but it doesn't give you the speed of response that you need, which GenSpark does, right? So overall GenSpark wins for complex tasks and Agent Zero is a great free alternative if you just need something simple and fast. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get all of my courses on Agent Zero and Manus, Perplexity, GenSpark, etc., plus some free Manus AI alternatives. Feel free to get that inside the AI Success Lab. It's completely free for all the resources I've mentioned today. 
along with all the test prompts that I ran as well. So feel free to get that. Also comes with my latest workflows, SAPs, research, latest videos, etc. So there's tons of tutorials inside there. And it's got a community of 9,000 members. So we're giving away like free trainings every single day as well, as you can see. So feel free to get that. That's the AI Success Lab link in the comments description. Additionally, if you want to connect with me personally, if you want to learn how to make more money and save time with AI, and if you want three live coaching calls per week, feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This also comes with an awesome community of 613 serious entrepreneurs about AI. And also what I do is I post a weekly update breaking down all the latest stuff and what I think about it. Additionally, we make a personalized video on the latest automations that people want to see us build. So whatever you want to see, we'll build it for you and create a personalized video showing you exactly how to build it. And then additionally, this is where I hang out, right? So for example, Tony was asking a few questions. We got back to him straight away with different answers, different workflows, etc. And that's, it's all about just helping people, making sure you get the best that you can, right? Additionally, if you can't make the coaching calls, we actually record them and you can watch them back down here. And it comes with all of our best courses on like email and content automation, social media, AI agents, web automation, AI trends, SAPs, etc. So feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom link in the comments description. And additionally, if you just like, do you know what, Julian? I want you to implement all this stuff for me. I don't want to do it myself. It takes too much time, etc. Then feel free to book in a free AI strategy session. Link in the comments description. And you can just jump on that free call. We'll figure out, okay, what do you need to automate? And then from there, we can also figure out, okay, how can you automate that and what are the next steps, right? So feel free to get that in. Link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching.